out or out and about or probably not out and about so much yeah. anymore, but <laughs> in and about uh, loving your mutt. Uh, maybe couch potato with your mutt today. That's it's a good day to be a couch potato with your mutt. Um, and um, we're super excited to be here. How is everybody? Are you holding up OK? Is the craziness yeah. kind of calming down or <laughs> are things still going wild and crazy? Um, we're hope, hoping to provide a little bit of calm in the storm, a little bit of joy, a little bit of levity, some some fun family time. Um, yeah. So, hi everybody! If you don't know who we are, I'm Patty Quinn of We Heart Hounds, and I'm here with the extra lovely, extra talented Hillary Buholtz. Hello, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> and we have a fun kid craft today um, that is dog themed. Uh, we're coming. Uh, we're planning to do this uh, this week and probably next week. Uh, we did this all last week. So if, if you're interested in kiddo crafts that have a dog theme to them, because that's what's true uh, to our hearts and something we really love, um, go back into the, the playlist or the videos uh, collection that we've got and you can check out our past ones that we've done. And we'll just keep doing this for a little while longer, um, hoping to add uh, like I said, a little joy and, and some family fun time and, and stuff for the kids to do and learn and, yeah. and create and be creative and get messy with glue and all that kind of fun stuff. So, uh, so anyway. keep their, their hands busy for a little while. And yeah. you know, it, sometimes when you're just, OK, what are we going to do now? You just need a little spark of inspiration. So hopefully some of these ideas yeah. might spark something for you and you can, you know, spark, you spark, spark. <laughs> <laughs> and please uh, sprinkle this video, you know, to anybody else that you think might yeah. be interested in, uh, in this. I mean, we, this is really the goal is to kind of share the love. And um, hey, Melissa, hey, how are you doing? You're, uh, I hope you're doing really well today. Say hi to Lucky for us. Um, so. We're hoping that lots of folks will get um, in on these and, and have fun with their families and the kiddos and, and um, put a bunch of fun stuff together. And some of these are a little more uh, intricate. Some of them are not so intricate, but we're really mm -hmm. trying to target um, little kiddos. Um, maybe the big kids can help the little kids in the house, that kind of stuff. Um, this one probably would be one that might, might wanna get um, the big kids involved to help out or Certainly, you're going to be practicing your cutting skills with this one, yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. And I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, but I just wanted to let everybody know we're we're doing this from the bottom of our hearts. We have a nine to five jobs, um, a couple of them, and um, we really just want to make an effort to show up consistently and be here for you guys. Um, you mean an awful lot to us, and we're happy to do this. Um, so anyway, with that said, drum roll. Today's craft is yay. Isn't this Hello, adorable? Man. I'm so calling this a, a bad to the dog bone wreath. <laughs> <laughs> so it's made from construction paper and you just cut out little bone shapes in different colors. Um, and then I've used, I used one um, kind of as a bow at the bottom and wrote woof. You can put your dog's name on there. You can, I'm thinking this would be cute for your dog, your, the kiddo's door to their bedroom. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they could have their own name on it. You could put keep out on, on here, <laughs> whatever they want to put on here. It'd be really cute. Um, and then I've got this adorable little, um, uh, this is dog, so cute. little, little doggy here that I've also made out of construction paper and you really just use glue, uh, a glue stick to put it all together. So it's pretty, pretty easy. You know, you're just gluing the pieces, parts and pieces together. And so basically what I did is I went online, um, and just found uh, a template, you know, just a, mm -hmm. what a coloring book dog bone shape or something. Just type that in uh, to your search engine and you've got, you know, something to work with. And then I just use that. So you can see I cut it out as a template. And then I just cut out a bunch of different bo dog bone shapes. You know, um, I've got some in brown. Um, I did some in green and yellow and orange and white just to try and make it colorful and fun. You could do it brown and white. You could do it all brown or all green or whatever colors yeah. you want. You could blue and white, whatever, whatever yeah. your favorite colors Pinks, are. Pinks, reds, whatever. Yeah, yeah. whatever construction paper you have exactly. lying around. You can, Ex yeah. And it's so light and easy to work with. Um, and then I just did another Google search uh, for a, a dog, you know, a little a uh, comic book dog or a cartoon dog or a, a coloring book dog, you know, just dog illustration. You can put in any of those yeah. kinds of words and come up with a simple shape. Um, and then I just cut out the actual dog and then use that, use this, all the 
parts and pieces as templates to to make my little doggy. So yeah. right there, just as a little embellishment. And you know, one of the other fun things I thought you could do, um, and I was, I was thinking of doing it, um, but I had put it all together first. But if you have a bunch of dogs at home, you could put their your dog each dog's name on it, you know, on each bone, or you could have them write their favorite saying or uh, you know, dog themed whatever, you know, what are your all the favorite things about the dogs that you have at home? You know, are they funny? Yep. Are they silly? Are they laugh? Do they love to run? Do they love to play? You could really, you know, kind of decorate it in any way, shape, or form that you would like. Um, it's really just kind of a blank canvas uh, to have a lot of fun um, with it. So anyway, that's today's craft. I turned love it. Pretty, pretty cute. Yeah. Really colorful. Yeah. I loved it. It turned out really I fun. Can, I think it'll be perfect on on the kids' door or on their yeah. in their room somewhere. I, I just yeah. I think it's I think it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun making it. And you know, we we make uh, we do Friday crafts that are a little more grown up ish, uh, a little more detailed. Um, and we and we do those every Friday uh, for our Think Dog It's Friday craft events or recipes or whatever. Um, and sometimes we do wreaths. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun for a kid, you know, to have a kid yeah. version of of a wreath? So anyway. Hope you guys enjoy this. This was a lot of fun to put together and we're gonna be, like I said, doing this um, every day, Monday through Friday. Our Fridays will be normally at our one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll do our best to stay on time with that. The Monday through Thursday thing is just gonna be whenever we can pop in. Yeah. Um, so just keep an eye out for us um, and we'll be here to, to share more fun ideas and all that good stuff. And yeah. if you think about it, um, the other thing that we're doing um, over this time is we're going to um, donate to one of the local humane societies um, near me that's uh, canceled all their fundraising events uh, for the month of March and potentially who knows as things play out yeah. maybe longer um, so, and they're really hurting so uh, for funds and and everything you can imagine they've they've stopped adoptions they've stopped all kinds of stuff just in the last few days so um, we're doing our part to see what we can do to help so anything that gets sold in our shop and there's a link in this post uh, you get 10% off, use Happy Hounds for the coupon, and um, anything that's sold uh, from the whole month of March 2020, we will be donating to the Humane Society um, to help them out. Um, and if it's not something that works for you, I totally get it. We, it's This isn't anything we're trying to push. Um, we're just trying to share some love and do some good in the world. Um, and I would just encourage you uh, to, to contact your local shelter and just see what their needs are, right? Um, see what you might be able to do to help. Um, it's This is, I think, a time for everybody to come together and just make this as, as good of an experience as we can all make it, right? Make it as easy for everybody as possible. So anyway, that's what I would encourage you to do. So. Yeah, one of the things that you had mentioned that I didn't really, you know, when you mentioned it, it was a a great thought was, you know, with everybody home, even if you can foster, if you're, mm -hmm. if you happen to be at home, if you can foster right now, even for a short term, you know, that, that little window that you know that you'll be home, if, right. if that's, that would work for well for your family, you know, it might be worth calling around, seeing if there, mm -hmm. if there are dogs that need some fostering that are local to you. That's that a huge thing. need. Yeah, it's a huge need. And even two weeks is, they would love that. I mean, they're still getting yeah. strays coming in. They're still dealing with animals that have been injured or sick. Um, so they're not closing their doors completely, but obviously any space that they can, you know, a dog can have, and even just to be able to spend quality time in a loving yeah. home. Um, and is, start to socialize in, in a family, mm -hmm. that sort of new setting mm -hmm. is, it's a really important mm -hmm. transition for them to be able to make. Mm -hmm. So that's not for everyone, but if if you think it might be a possibility for you, I would encourage you to um, yeah actually reach out and and find out you know places that are local to you and yeah see what you can do to help yeah all right well that was that's our little PSA for today <laughs> our public <laughs> service announcement <laughs> um, but truly it you know all of this means so much to us um, you know we, we've got we all have busy lives um, but it's nice to kind of take a break stop and think about what really matters and that's that's you that's us that's you know our, our families our friends um, and the communities around us and yeah. of course that means our 11 little furry fur balls our fluky fur balls 
pups. So um, yeah, I want to make sure they're all well taken care of as well. So anyway, thanks everybody for being with us today. I hope this little activity has inspired you to um, get some construction paper. You've got construction paper or newspaper yeah. or printer paper or running around, the, you know, laying around the house. Yeah. Um, cut out some bone shapes and have the kids glue it together and make a wreath and draw on it or color with crayons or do whatever. Um, and I think you'd all have a really good time. It'd be a lot of fun. We'd love to see your pictures. So if you have anybody uh, that actually makes this, please share in the post below. We would love to yes, see it. Yes, please. And Thanks, if you know somebody oh. that might like it, share it with them as well. Yeah. You know, if, if you're watching yeah. this, you, you can catch them on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you might be watching this. So yeah, please feel free to share it along with somebody that might enjoy it. That would be wonderful. That would mean so much. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you, Melissa, for being here with us and everybody else that's here live that's too shy to comment. And if you're watching the replay, we're super happy to have you here. Just make a comment below. We read them all and, and they mean so much to us. And thanks again for being with us today. Have a thanks. good one. Goodbye. It's a Mutt Lovin' Monday. Yay! <laughs>